One of Morphomatic's most powerful features is its ability to work with .mom files. Within the global parameters section of Morphomatic, there are three buttons related to this feature, save to file, load from file, and auto load. Here is how they work. Here we have a head fully animated with Morphomatic. If you click save to file, Morphomatic will open a window where several saving options are displayed. Firstly, you can choose which channels you want data to be saved for. Then, you can choose to save the geometry, the channel parameters, the animation, global parameters, group setup, markers, and even the poses. All of these options can be saved individually or in any combination to suit your specific needs. I will simply click Save As, choose a folder, and save the file to disk. When reloading a .mom file, you have multiple options as well. In context, if a scene is open with the character but no animation is loaded, you can simply choose a .mom file which will automatically map all of the previously saved channels to their corresponding channels. In this specific case, you could choose to load everything but the geometry, as it is already part of the scene. This could be particularly useful if a character is sharing the same naming convention as another. A bit like a BIP file, you can save the animation and load it back at any time. On another note, if you have a Morphomatic modifier applied, a .mom file gives you the ability to load all of the morph target settings. In this case, we have an empty Morphomatic modifier. With your previously saved .mom file, you can simply reload the setup with the geometry ready to animate. You can load all of the geometry, none of the animation, and create channels, and, when you have picked your options, click load. Doing so, all of the channels are populated with the proper deformation, ready to be animated with the latest version of the morph targets. When working with a complex morphing workflow in a character pipeline, we strongly suggest using the autoload function. Here's how this works. When you enable autoloading, you can select a .mom file to automatically be loaded every time you open the scene. In this specific case, we want to autoload the geometry of this file, therefore whenever the modeler updates the morph targets and overwrites the .mom file, we can open this scene and Morphomatic will autoload the geometry to populate all of the morph channels. This way, animators will always have the newest version of the morph targets. As you can see here, the autoload icon has switched to orange, which means it is currently on. So when you open this .max file, you will have the latest version of the geometry. Can your morpher do that? With Morphomatic, it's only a click away. You could also want to simply load the animation, so you can always have the latest version of the character animation. This is quite useful in the assembly stage of a production, where you would put together the various animations, such as the facial and the body animations. MOM files are ASCII based, therefore you can open and edit them through any text editor and easily access the data contained in the file. This includes morph targets and animation keyframes. This allows several of our customers to use a .mom file directly in their game engine. As you can see, the various saving and loading options available in Morphomatic allow you to manage custom animation files including geometry and not limited to animation, usefully save in one file as independently accessible data. We thank you for watching this presentation on how to maximize your workflow with the help of Diomatic. If you are not already using Morphomatic, don't hesitate to download the trial version and to check out other Diomatic products on our website at www.diomatic.com.